this is a fairly detailed template. Start off with a 0.1mm Indian ink pen. Now I'm using my mapping pen to ink in all the outlines of the bird and the broken branch. I began the wing shadows and then decided to complete the head instead. Block in the eye except for the highlight. Use many short strokes here because the hairs are short. The head is in the sunlight so be careful of adding too many lines and make sure that they also follow the direction of the hairs. The underside of the beak is in very deep shade. Use a 0.5 nib to block in these deep blacks. Coming back to the mapping pen and add in all the other lines to build up the molding or shape of the head. Add the impressions of the markings. Uh, no real detail can be seen, even in the photograph. But don't count every marking either. The markings become more prominent as we progress towards the left. These also indicate where the feathers lift off the body. Darken up the wing shadow and some of the marks. Notice how roughly I finished off the wing near the tail. There is a convergence of so-called detail and tonal ranges. They all merge together. Don't worry if it looks like a mess. It all pans out in the end. Now this area is in very deep shade. I've gone over to a 0.5mm nib as it is easier to fill in the dark with. Although it is in the deep shade, all lines must still follow the direction of the feather markings. All the belly marks are also added in following the direction of the feather lines. As the marks move away under the belly, they tend to look flatter instead of round. Now continue filling in the markings and notice that they become much smaller around the area of the legs. There is not much detail here for the legs. Most of it is in the shade and only a small area in the semi-shade. Sketching the shafts of the feathers and the outlines. As you do so, begin to add the markings. Keep comparing them to the reference photograph. Add the other feathers higher up and its markings, and the large feathers at the end of the tail have no markings at all. Notice how the lines branch out from the shafts. Notice also how the lines separate the feathers from each other and add the shadow that lifts the spotted feather above the larger one. The body needs to be shown as rounded, and we do this by using very light, subtle curve lines. I want you to take special notice of the technique and the type of cross-hatching I'm using here to make it look more three-dimensional. For the stump, I've gone over to a 0.3mm nib, because the surface is rough here. I also added a bit more tail shadow to show the tail up better than is shown in the photograph. I'm also working basically from the top downwards. The stump has been kept fairly light to contrast it against the darker color of the bird. Now the impression of the moss or the lichen is also indicated by small shadows, some of which will be larger than the others. Add some cracks to the barks as well, for interest's sake. Some light cross hatching is perfect for pulling it all together. Now please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint along version of this class, head over to our website onlineartlessons.com Thank you for watching.